Hi beautiful folks, this is again Ashish from Ashfield Creation and today we are going to create a moody cinematic photo in Photoshop. First of all, you gotta do is select the model. You can use any of the technique to select the photo by uh, that would be a pen tool or quick selection tool or whatever you want, you can totally use it. And now we can add a background to the photo. Just go to the file, click on open and just browse the background. This is the car background which we are gonna be using. So you can just download this background from the links in the description as well as the preset which is used in this photo editing you can download just for free. Now this is very important to maintain the perspective of the model with the car right so you have to place a car in the position where that the model should not look so big or should not look so you know small according to the car. So you have to maintain the originalism now just merge all both the layers before doing uh, yeah now just merge and uh, go to the file and click on open as you can see this one is looking more realistic now just go to the before doing the camera pr uh, settings or camera corrections now we gonna add a smoke photo to the uh, no our photograph so just add this smoke we gonna just place it on the top of all the layers and on the front near the area where the lights are there because as you can see the full atmosphere is kind of a moody kind of you know mountain kind of cloudy theme so we are adding this smoke on this photo because it will shoot very perfectly now again just duplicate image go to the filter select the camera filter and here we are gonna be adding a preset that is muted green preset so you can just download the, this preset that is muted green preset from the links in the description i'll just put that link also to our website so you can just download it for free and now then as you can see here is the muted green preset now this one is looking so perfect by clicking on this see we're gonna just still add some more adjustment on the photograph so just uh, just increase the highlights a little bit if you want and increase the shadows because you want to get the perfect ma I mean, a blackish effect on the photograph decrease some of the whiteness and just increase some more blackness to 100% I guess as you can see this one is looking kind of cool and amazing and now next thing we are gonna be doing is now just hit ok and you are almost there now just merge both the layers let me merge again just duplicate the image now press ctrl u from the keyboard and we gonna fix the skin tone as you can see my skin tone was looking actually very very reddish which i don't want so i'm gonna just reduce the saturation of the red tone from the photo now or you can just use camera filter to maintain or use uh, adjust this calibration of this red tone so just go to the color select the red tone and here we can just reduce the saturation increase the light luminescence of that particular red again we gonna select the orange color from the photograph and we can reduce some of the saturation increase the luminescence as you can see my skin is getting brightened up so this is very important to maintain now just hit ok as you can see i just want this color correction only on my skin so i am adding a layer mask press ctrl plus i to make it black select the black uh, brush and select the soft round brush and just make sure you have selected the white color on the foreground and just paint on the area where you want that effect i suppose i just say i just want on my face on all and also on my hand region so i'm just uh, you know just painting over there now again just create a new layer select the brush tool and just select the orange color because you want to create a perfect shine effect or what we say that the lighting effect we want to add so we are adding this light over here give one stroke of that light change the blending mode to screen and we can just place this somewhere over here press ctrl u and just maintain a bit of color that should be around orange red tone just like a uh, perfect sunlight effect and you can increase the luminescence and just make a little bit of orange color not red orange red tones would be the color now just hit ok when you are done with the color correction of the hue and saturation by pressing ctrl u now this one seems to be perfect i guess 
now again let's create a new select the white color now this time and give a one stroke of that color press ctrl d and we can just place this somewhere over here above that color change the size of the increase the size of the whole image of that color and just add a bit on the top of image to, to get more you know perfect realistic look like a sun so finally let's merge both all the layers right click on it and select merge layer. again select the crop tool and hit once again crop now here we're gonna do the dodging and burning process so just make a duplicate of the layer change the blending mode to screen right click on it and blending option press alt key and boom the slider from left to right again just press ctrl j and make a duplication Change the blending mode to multiple press alt key just move the slider from right to left all the way now just make a group of both the layer by pressing ctrl g add a layer mask go to the image and select apply image and as you can see guys we have done perfectly the dodging and burning on the face you can see the difference this will literally make your photo to stand out so it is very important to add every time this dodging and burning process whenever you are doing a manipulation now as you can see I just don't want on the area on my t-shirt so I'm gonna just erase it from there. So select the brush and make sure the black color is on the foreground and just paint it on the area where you don't want that effect of the dogs and burn. Finally now merge both the layers and here our editing is completed. Now just go to the camera filter again we're gonna just add a little bit of grain as well as the what do you say the clarity to the photograph just add a little bit of contrast if you need it and you can still more adjust the color corrections afterwards just like this way shadows you can do play with the shadows and finally adding a clarity to the photograph so this will make it look more kind of you know impressive which will literally stand out so just add a little bit of clarity to around plus 33 and finally we gonna add a grain to the photograph so just put the effect and add a grain that would be around 25 or 26 would be pretty perfect so this will create a textures on the screen now just hit ok and finally the process of editing a cinematic photo with moody touch is completed so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free and if you still not subscribe yet then subscribe and visit my website www.ashwivecreations.com and press the bell icon and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashwivecreations and filterpreset.com just visit that website so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial